World War I, the Great War. 1917, they called it the Great War. Countries from all over the world were fighting each other. Soldiers are getting tired and millions have been killed, but this all started with just one death. At the time of 1914, there were many alliances between countries. Austria-Hungary, Germany, and Italy formed the Triple Alliance. Meanwhile, France had allied with Russia. And when France allied with Great Britain, Britain also became allies with the Russians. Prior to World War I, some of the events that occurred include Wilhelm II becoming Emperor of Germany, the Anglo-German naval race, the war between Japan and Russia, Austria-Hungary annexing Bosnia, and Archduke Franz Ferdinand being assassinated. After the war, women in the U.S. were given the right to vote, the civil war in Russia, Dolf Hitler wrote Mein Kampf, several years later Hitler was named Chancellor of Germany, and six years after that, World War II began. There were three main factors in the start of World War I. There were the various alliances between numerous countries at the time, the Great Arms Race, the assassination of, of Archduke of Austria-Hungary, Franz Ferdinand. The main factor was Franz Ferdinand's assassination. The Archduke of Austria-Hungary was assassinated on June 28, 1914 by a nationalistic Serbian group called the Black Hand. They killed him because at that time, Bosnia was a part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Many Serbians were unhappy about this as they believed Bosnia should be part of the Serbian nation. Following this, Austria-Hungary declared war on Serbia. Russia quickly came to Serbia's aid, while, while Germany allied with Austria-Hungary. Italy left the Triple Alliance and sided with the Allies. France and Britain joined Russia due to their alliance. Japan joined soon after due to the Anglo-Japanese alliance. The following quote, taken from a telegram sent by German Chancellor Theobald von, von Bethmann Hallwig, was cited at at first world war at first world war dot com the quote clearly states german that germany will aid austria hungary in a war against the serbians and russians he said it's just eight days after the assassination of franz ferdinand in addition as said earlier there were many countries that were allied with each other so this led to them being brought into the war so they could protect their their other nations for example this quote here said by Japan's Minister for Foreign Affairs, Baron Kato, clearly explains that Japan joined the war, at least partially, due to requests from the British who were already fighting with Germany. The Japanese government therefore resolved to comply with the British request and, if necessary, to open hostilities with Germany. In addition, militarism and the great arms race played a role in the start of the war. There was already great tension between countries as they raced to make the most powerful military possible. This photo displayed here shows artillery weapons being made by the British. While most countries tried to make powerful armies, the Germans and British primarily focused on making a strong naval force. Even though the Allies won the war, it might, might have never occurred in the first place if not for the nationalistic behavior of countries, because they all could have kept to themselves instead of starting wars that had nothing to do with them. It is similar in some ways to the Iran-Iraq War. As both wars involve trenches and chemical warfare. World War I is an important topic to learn about because it should have never started. Two people were killed and every country made the war their business. It helps us understand things like the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan and whether or not they are real.